today guys i'm going to be testing out 10 myths and block suits and seeing whether they're true or not anyways y'all let's get right into it all right guys so myth number one apparently if you use a v3 ability while spinning for a fruit it gives you guaranteed better luck so let's go ahead and test this out okay spin for a fruit all right pop v3 let's see what i get bro <laughs> all right this myth is fake i got the chopped fruit bro all right guys now for myth number two apparently you're able to awaken your fruit without actually doing the raid so what you need to do is head over here to like the port area and you should see a little opening in the ground yeah right here head down here and then go to one of these platforms you can do this one or this one it really doesn't matter come over here and you need to like clip through it so what you do is you press shift put your cursor like through the wall and then press r just like that all right now next step is you need to look for like a little box yeah here right here you need to look for this area once you're here all you need to do is eat either ice or magma because you need to be able to walk on water to do this so let me pull out one of my fruits all right ice let's eat it all right now i'm able to walk on the water you head to this side and you do the same thing again you just need to clip in r Bam. All right, so just like that, we're now in the raid room. Now, apparently, all I have to do is speak to the entity. Greeting mortals, what do you seek? Ascension. Ah, oh, okay. He says you cannot talk to this NPC. All right, so it does not work. But you're able to get in the room, though, which is kind of cool. <laughs> all right, now for myth number three, if you die to an NPC, then you'll lose the exact same bounty as the level the NPC is. So let's test this out. Let me go to NPC over here. Now, apparently, if this... NPC kills me, then I'll lose 725,000 bounties. So let me switch my Logia. Okay, I need a fruit. Uh, okay, let's go rocket. Okay, where's the NPC at? All right, now apparently if this guy kills me, I'm going to lose 725 bounties. So let's just wait for him to get me low. 2,000 years later. All right, finally, they got me low. Let's see. I should lose 725 bounties. Oh! Lost 725 bounty from dying to NPC. What the hell? Alright, let me let me try Let me try that, but with one other NPC. Let me equip my... Where's light at, bro? Alright, let me equip light. Now, let me head over to one more NPC. Let's see. Alright, now let's try this with the factory staff. So, as you can see, he's level 800. I'm gonna go ahead and switch my fruit. Alright, let's go rocket again. And now we just need to wait for him to make me low. All right, all right, I'm at 900 HP. I should lose 800 bounty. Okay, yeah, I lost 800 bounty. This myth is actually true. All right, now for myth number four, apparently if two people use the do C move at the same time, then none of the players will take damage. It'll just cancel out. So let's try this. All right, let me tell him to go. Okay, so we just roll. Bam. All right. Yep, this actually works. It's true. None of us took damage. Okay, this next myth, Spiky Trident. If we both use Spiky Trident Z at the same time, then it should like bug out the game or something. Let's go ahead and test this out. All right. Oh my God. Yo, yo. This actually works, bro. It glitched us under the map. Hold on, hold on. I need to try that one more time. All right, all right. Let's try this one more time. Okay. Okay. Yo, yo. This myth works. Where did he go? Yo, it glitched him. Look at him. He's bugging out, bro. All right, this myth is true. All right, myth number six. If you eat the magma fruit and try to walk in the lava, you're going to take zero damage. Let's test it out. I have magma fruit eaten. And it takes zero damage. Wow, this myth is actually true. I thought this wasn't going to work. Look at this. Zero damage. All right, myth number seven. If you unawaken your dough fruit, you should be able to walk in the lava just like the magma fruit. So let's go ahead and unawaken this. Come down here, awakening expert, talk, let's unawaken it. All right, equipped it. Bam, all right, as you can see, we have unawakened dough. Now let's head over to the lava. All right, and I'm at the lava. Let's see if we can take zero damage with unawakened dough. Yep, as you can see, we're able to roll on the on the lava without taking damage. This myth is true. All right, y'all, now this myth is kind of two in one. So the first myth is basically if you eat a fruit inside of a raid, while doing it, you're able to awaken it. So right now I'm in a dark raid. So apparently if I eat the dark fruit, it should work. So where's dark at dark? 
Here we go, dark fruits. Eat. Yo, chill, bro. All right, now apparently when I kill the boss, it should teleport me to the awakening room. Let's do this. All right. Will it teleport me? Okay, so that myth is confirmed true. It works. Now the next myth is if you don't talk to this NBC and you teleport outside of this raid room, you should become basically immortal, meaning that if players try to hit you, you should take no damage. So I have my friend outside waiting here. Let me teleport outside. Okay, now let me tell him to hit me. Here, let me get away from... All right. Let's see if this is true. No way, wait, are we allied? Yo! Do I have PvP on? This works! Yo! Oh my god, this actually works! I'm basically immortal, bro! Yo! This myth actually works, that's crazy. As you can see, my PvP is on, alright? And we are not allied. I'm still taking zero damage. This myth is confirmed true. Alright guys, now this next myth is basically if I use Buddha. So let me go ahead and get my Buddha out real quick. Okay. So if I use Buddha and I unawaken the Z ability, the rest of the fruit won't work. So as you can see right now, I have it awakened. The moves work. Alright, everything works fine. So now let's just go ahead and unawaken the Z ability. Let's see if Buddha will still work. Okay, come down here, Awakening Expert, Talk, Unawaken Z. Okay, let's go ahead and transform. Alright. Oh, this actually works. Look, I'm pressing on X, C, V, F, and they don't work. But I'm still able to M1 though. So, this myth is confirmed true. Alright guys, now for this last myth, apparently you're able to do a weird pose with a katana sword. Anyways, first thing you need to do is hold it out, and then hold it down, Quiet Rush. Go into your items and unequip the katana, but first you need to let, let go of the Z and then unequip it. Yo! <laughs> what the? It actually works, what the hell? Why are my feet moving too? Yo, yo alright, alright, how do I get out of this? You can't get out of it. Um, you can jump with this glitch. What the hell? Look at this. I'm jumping. <laughs> All right. Yeah, bro. This glitch is weird. Anyways, y'all. That's going to be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, then please make sure to like, subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.